motorcycles are an important part of mobility especially in the indian market and electric motorcycles are becoming more popular nowadays and today we have with us mr mohal lal bhai the co-founder of matter india ki pehli geared electric motorcycle launch karne ke piche jo brain tha उनसे हम बात करने वाले हैं आज और इस इंट्रैक्शन में हम जानेंगे कि क्या इंस्पायर किया इंडिया की फर्स्ट गेयर मोटरसाइकिल लॉन्च करने के लिए वेलकम मोहल वेलकम टू 91 वन वीज थैंक यू एंड थैंक यू फॉर कमिंग डाउन टू द मैन्युफैक्चरिंग फैसिलिटी कैन यू गिव अस अ स्मॉल ब्रीफ अबाउट मैटर श्योर सो अवर जर्नी स्टार्टेड बैक इन टू एंड we started out with the idea that we really wanted to make an impact in the two wheeler space and we definitely saw that there were a lot of um, scooters coming up or companies which were you know just starting out doing a lot of things there but we realized that motorcycles which are two thirds of india's market are still going largely unaddressed and that's where we said that somebody needs to come in and really solve for um india's problems and with electric technology being in its early stages i mean i call 2010 the real start of the ev age we really wanted to kind of go in look at the pain points and really really address customer concern so that's how we said motorcycles a lot of um, early learnings on india's weather conditions india's riding conditions um, india's charging infra got us to make quite a few decisions around liquid cooling or the gearbox or the way our onboard charger works but all in all it's been very focused on consumers and solving real genuine consumer problems so introducing a an geared electric motorcycle was a big bold move so what inspired you to launch a first motorcycle with gearbox especially in the electric segment so for us motorcycles mean control over power train i mean our road quality is not the best scooters are typically urban commute vehicles and you know the the better way of saying it is the largest size pothole you can really go over is the size of your wheel so motorcycles typically are the way i look at it suvs for the two wheeler world and if you don't have control over the power train riding on a rough road becomes a very very tricky affair so looking at the real genuine pain points we said without a gearbox a motorcycle in india is not a motorcycle uh what battery technology are you using and especially the liquid cool thing that you are using in your bike it's first for electric motorcycle segment yep so i mean the so there's a very simple story and how i can explain it so summer of 2020 is when i was looking at uh, you know we we got the first prototype built out the motorcycle was parked out in the sun as most motorcycles in this country are i mean we don't have dedicated parking for two wheelers and uh, you know somebody in the afternoon took it out for a drive and you know we we saw a lot of systems throwing up red and that's when we realized that ambient temperature was 48 49 degrees celsius battery inside was above 50 55 degrees battery safety is at 60 degrees celsius we don't have a lot of headroom available and that's one of the core reasons we said we had to introduce liquid cooling because we really wanted to make an unapologetic ev we have seen a fair share of apologetic evs which you know a lot of things go wrong but we wanted to ensure that irrespective of the weather condition the rider is always able to drive the vehicle whenever they want to so that's how liquid cooling got introduced not just for the battery it's also on the electronics and the powertrain both so what about scaling in india like you just open your pilot manufacturing plant deliveries have been started in ahmedabad so what's your plan for future for expansion in the indian market So this month uh, June 2025 is when we are actually going outside Ahmedabad the first time we are opening up um, dealerships in Jaipur Pune Bangalore Delhi and from here our intent is to scale we are going to be starting with west and southern india with our pure focus in the first phase and then in the second phase moving to north and the northeast and what was the the action of protex when you 
toll and they we are coming up with a el- geared electric motorcycle how the riders respond to it in the initial phase so and and i, I think i have a very uh, simple um, statement to make here is come and drive it experience it then let's have a talk about what you actually want versus not and i'm pretty sure today you are going to get a run of it why don't you tell me how you feel i'm looking pop it to it uh what are your thoughts about the competition with the increasing competition in the ev space what are the things that makes you unique in the segment so two points i'd like to make here one motorcycles are at a very very nascent stage in india electric motorcycles and competition at this time helps because a lot of awareness gets created i mean on the scooter space you see about 15% penetration already uh, motorcycle is almost close to zero that's why if you look at the industry average is about 5 or 6% yes yeah. competition at this stage would definitely help and as you start uh, growing and going forward product differentiation will come in but that is not the problem statement today today internal combustion is the competition yes yeah. and that's how we see it okay so what's one myth you want to bust about electric motorcycles electric motorcycles are fun they are no longer the i mean they are not apologetic they are completely unapologetic vehicles trust me if you ride the era the only learning curve you have is you don't have to go to a petrol station you need to find a charging socket that's it okay and um, charging is still a big concern among ev buyers what is your take on this matlab how you are planning to improve the charging infrastructure are you planning to come up with your own charging station or to rely on the existing ones so we definitely are uh, so two parts so vehicle has an onboard charger which can charge of any 5 amp socket so where you charge your mobile phone you can actually charge the bike okay extension boards are completely fine so you can actually charge with convenience we are also partnering up with uh, companies uh, across the country in terms of giving access to the users in terms of charging infra but uh, personally the biggest bottleneck has always been that two wheelers don't have parking so getting dedicated two wheeler charging infra up has been a challenge and we hope that it will start getting stabilized but today we have really worked a lot in terms of giving consumers a convenience key with a in any place you find a tube light you can actually charge the era okay anything else you want to share with our viewers about the about matter and about your motorcycle i i think uh, what i told you is what i'm going to tell everyone which is come and take it for a spin then let's start the conversation okay thank you mohel thank you for your time thank you thank you so much thank you for coming over thank you